Welcome to Pastor Andrew's Inspirations. If you enjoy these videos, please click on the red subscribe button below and the bell for more. Welcome to our online church, a congregation made up of many from around the world. No offering is necessary. Subscribing and watching videos will keep us alive under God's watchful eyes. Today we will be talking about the town of Emos. Emos is a town mentioned in the Gospel of Luke of the New Testament. Luke reports that Jesus appeared after his death and resurrection before two of his disciples while they were walking on the road to Emos. Although its geographical identification is not certain, several locations having been suggested throughout history, chiefly Emos Nicopolis. It is known only that it was connected by a road to Jerusalem. The distance given by Luke varies in different manuscripts and the figure given has been made even more ambiguous by interpretation. <clears throat> the place name Emos is relatively common in classical sources about the Levant and is usually derived through Greek and Latin from the Semitic word for warm spring, the Hebrew form of which is Hama. In the ancient and present day Middle East, many sites are named Hama, Hamath, and variations thereof. The name of Emos was Hellenized during the 2nd century BCE and appears in Jewish and Greek texts in many variations. Amos, Amam, Emos, Emom, Mos, Amos, for some. There's a lot more. Emos may derive from the Hebrew Hamat, meaning hot spring. It is generally referred to in Hebrew sources as Hamta. A spring of Emos, or alternatively, a spring of salvation, is attested in Greek sources. Emos is mentioned by this name in Midrash Zuda, for Song of Songs 6 and 8, and Midrash Rabbah for Lamentations 1 and 45, and in the Midrash Rabbah on Ecclesiastes 7, verse 15. Emos is mentioned in the Gospel of Luke as the village where Jesus appeared to his disciples after his crucifixion and resurrection. Luke chapter 24 verses 13 to 35 indicates that Jesus appears after his resurrection to two disciples who are walking from Jerusalem to Emos, which is described as being 12 kilometers from Jerusalem. One of the disciples is named Cleopas, verse 18, while his companion remains unnamed. There is no name for him. That very day, two of them were going to a village, 29.6 kilometers away from Jerusalem, called Emos, and they were speaking about all the things that had occurred. And it happened that while they were speaking and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he was going on further. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening, and the day is declining. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him. According to the Gospel, the story takes place in the evening of the day of Jesus' resurrection. 
the two disciples hear that the tomb of Jesus was found empty earlier that day. They are discussing the events of the past few days when a stranger asks them what they are discussing. Their eyes were kept from recognizing him. He rebukes them for their unbelief and explains prophecies about the Messiah to them. On reaching Emos, they ask the stranger to join them for the evening meal. When he breaks the bread, their eyes are open and they recognize him as the resurrected Christ. Jesus immediately vanishes. Cleopas and his friend then hasten back to Jerusalem to carry the news to the other disciples. A similar event is mentioned in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, although the disciples' destination is not stated. This passage is believed by some to be a late addition derived from the Gospel of Luke. The incident is not mentioned in the Gospels of Matthew or John. Emos is the Greek variant of the Hebrew word and place name for hot springs, Hamat, and is therefore not unique to one location, which makes the identification of the New Testament site more difficult. Several places in Judea and Galilee are called Emos. In the Bible, the works of Josephus, Flavius, and other sources from the, the relevant period. <clears throat> the one most often mentioned is a town of some importance, situated in the valley of Ayalon later called Emos Nicopolis. Another Emos mentioned by Josephus is a village placed closer to Jerusalem at which is high is today known as the town of Matzah. One famous resident was Akiva, Ben Yosef, also known as Rabbi Akiva. He was a leading Jewish scholar and sage a Tana of the latter part of the first century and the beginning of the second century. Rabbi Akiva was a leading contributor to the Mishnah and the Midrash Halakha. He is also sometimes credited with redacting Abraham's version of the Sefer Yetzirah, one of the central texts of Jewish mysticism. He is referred to in the Talmud as chief of the sages. He was executed by the Romans in the aftermath of the Bar Koba revolt. This is the town of Emos. Adonai Nisi, the Lord is our banner. Remember, if you like these videos, please click on the subscribe button below the video and also click on the bell for more. God's blessings be upon this message and us all.